sometimes we'd scroll through Raya. Why would you post your sandwich? Last time I talked to you guys, I got to play with puppies. That's a talent. At a guy, had a gab, not a got, had a gab, not a guy, could a goff, had a gate, did a goo, did a gay. You jerk. Hi, I'm Hilary Duff, and I play Sophie on How I Met Your Father. Hi, I'm Francia Raisa, and I play Valentina on How I Met Your Father. Today, we are here with BuzzFeed to take the co-star test. Franck, we got this. Okay. Oh yeah, she calls me Franck. I haven't heard that in so long. Okay, the first question is if I know Francia's birthday, and I do because I Googled it. I'm just gonna confess right now that um, I didn't know her birthday, but that's a tough question. Who knows birthdays? It's July 26th. And I was very upset because I forgot that you're a year younger than me. 1988. Yep. <laughs> She's not 34 yet. <laughs> it's coming for you soon. So I also Googled and I didn't know we had this, but Hillary gave it away and it is September 28th, 1987. Cause she's a year older than me. One extra wrinkle. The next question is the yeah. first time we met. And I remember the first time we met, I was heavily pregnant with um, my son, Luca, and it was in my mom's kitchen. Francie asked me if I had lost my mucus plug yet. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, that happened uh, the first time we met. I was hanging out with uh, Haley, her sister, and you know, grew up watching her. I was nervous and I was trying to play it cool and I had just learned what a mucus plug was because my friend was pregnant and I was like, I'm gonna share that I'm smart. Have you lost your mucus plug? Not realizing how um, personal that is, but you were amazing about it because you laughed at me and you were like, thanks for asking, no. No one want to talk about a mucus plug, but when it's happening to you, you're like, I'm dying to lose it, but it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, what were you, like 24? I was 23. <laughs> yeah, I made a good first impression, guys, but memorable. Favorite snack at Crafty. This is really tough. I'm not gonna say that I know her favorite snack at Crafty, but I do know that the girl can take down a bag like this big of um, chili pistachios. You're absolutely right. I'd say that's the top snack in your life. That was the top snack in my life when I discovered them. But on set, I always had turkey sandwiches and chips. Yeah. Um, yeah by the way, I think you got on that turkey sandwich train because I told you that they'll make them for you. And you were like, where'd you yeah, get that one a, day? Yeah, that was all you. She showed me the ropes. I don't know if you'd have a go-to. Would you get smoothies? Yeah, I'd get like a no. shake. Yeah, yeah, or... you'd get like a shake or smoothie stuff. Yeah, but also she loves a sneaky bag of chips. Oh yes, because every time I had my chips, you'd be like, give me yeah. some, give me some. And Get it. We yeah. like the same flavors, except for sometimes I have a sweet tooth and she doesn't, but like, it would be like a, like 10, 30, and she'd be like getting down on a bag of jalapeno chips. And I'm like, girl, you're taking me down with you. Oh, your favorite snack on set is my salsa. That's what it is. That's true, but you didn't hook that up until like the last two weeks. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know it would be such a hit. Your dressing room must have. Well, you have your little, um, what, sash? They were oh birthday. yeah, my yeah, birthday so sash. There was a lot of candles in there. Smelly, good smelly stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna say you can't mark that right because my my dressing room must have is yarn. Damn it, I knew that. <laughs> I'm gonna say that your dressing room must have is music. Dang, you got that right. Go to activity between filming scenes. FaceTiming with her kids or watching videos of her kids. Oh, that's so embarrassing, but probably true. Sometimes we'd scroll through Raya. <laughs> Showing Raya while we were. Filming, it was, it was a five minute moment. A five minute moment, that's it? I mean, I deleted it before we wrapped. That's true. On this set, yeah, I was on Riot a lot between takes. You're right. I remember being excited about that because I don't get to, I'm like obviously not on a dating app. I don't get to, no, I don't, I'm glad I'm not, but like, <laughs> it was very fun learning Raya. She's like, no, 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 not good enough. <laughs> I'd be like, what about, about him? No, give me that. I would, or I'd be like, ew, I know him. <laughs> oh, my favorite was, I don't like the sandwich he's eating. No. Why would you post your sandwich? Their yeah. giveaway that they're about to break character. Franz I'm breaks not... character more than me, I think. Yeah, you, you're pretty good about it. Sometimes things are so funny that you would laugh, but I think more than that, it would be like an inside joke. And then we would like break a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. I think like if we looked at each other too long or something like that, like I feel like we'd kind of get the giggles. Yeah, I look down a lot, but you just keep staring at me and you start, yep, that's what you do. <laughs> <laughs> I think it took us all a second to get to know what each other meant without, you know how you get to know people without them having to say anything. But mm -hmm. half the time, this much of our face was covered up with like a mask. So everyone would be like, 
Like I remember Tom would always be like, I'm scared of Hillary. Like, I don't know what she's thinking. She always looks like she's smiling, but like, that's not normal. They were afraid of you the whole, like first half of the season. They're like, I don't know if she likes me. That's I know. so insane. Because I'm the least party. scary person ever. I don't understand. If they say something that like, you just don't understand, you'll look at them and be like, I don't get it. And they're like, <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go over here now. The favorite scene that you shot on set. Okay, I think that your favorite scene is the one where we're sitting on the curb outside the club, outside of FOMO. Oh, that was a good one. I do love that scene. I do love that one. I was thinking of um, our ex, Jane Fonda bit. Is that your favorite? That was funny to me. The bar mitzvah? Hell no. I don't know. The very last scene. Oh, damn it. The very last scene. Okay, I didn't get that yeah. right. Oh, good one. I yeah. don't know this. Your favorite character they've ever portrayed in a different project. Oh, God, let me think. Uh, Lizzie McGuire. Come on. <laughs> I'm sound. I mean, listen, I'm very quick to tell her. I even asked for a palette. I've asked for many things. Oh, my God, the Lizzie palette that never yeah. was for you. Um, yeah. I have no idea this for you. <sighs> you jerk. I know. Grownish? I honestly, I have to say this one, how I met. It says in a different project. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I would say then um, probably probably life size too, working with Tyra. Because Tyra Banks is cool. Uh, yeah. Their hometown. You're a Cali girl. Yeah, and you're a Texas girl. That's right. Okay, uh, middle name. Oh my God, wait. Francia is your middle name, isn't it? No, 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 no. It's long. I don't remember. It's on my uh, box right now. Oh my God, that's right. <laughs> Damn it. Her, her last name is her middle name. God, I'm never gonna forget it. <laughs> Face is my middle name. I have no idea what yours is, and apparently you're about to reveal it to the world. Let's go. I know, oh my God, it's Earhard. Who? I know, there you go. It's E-R-H-A-R-D, and it's like a family passed on name from Texas. It's fine now that I'm older, like I'm proud to have the name, but when I was younger, my dad said he found, like I would like practice my autograph when I was like really little, and I would make my middle name Emily, because it started with an E. <laughs> he found like sheets of paper in my desk drawer from Texas that was like Hillary Emily Duff, Hillary Elizabeth Duff, anything but what my middle name was. I'm calling you Earhart from now on. Great, can't wait. Their go-to order at a bar. Yours Margar is, mine's a margarita? Well, tequila, soda water, uh, lime. There you go. Yeah, you she go. basically makes her own version of a skinny margarita with all these ingredients. And uh, yeah, lime juice. You'll first order a whiskey drink of some sort and then decide that you don't like it and then order some sort of red wine. Bingo! <laughs> And their secret talent. I don't think it's a secret, but you're like a badass dancer. Oh, thank you. And salsa maker. Yeah, well the salsa, you you made that known. You made that known. So. Yeah. You crochet. That was a new hidden talent I learned about. She made a lot of cute little hats for some of our crew. And I can speak gibberish. Yes, she showed off that talent. And I already have a hard time speaking English, so it doesn't help that she does this. <laughs> Two different kinds. One's called ob, and that's like what my husband speaks, so I've learned that, but it's really much more challenging. But like growing up with my sister, I'd speak gibberish, and I'd be like, guy had a gab, had a gab, had a guy, could a gaff, had a gay, did a gay. And I just said, I have not had my coffee today. I just thought of a secret talent. So in episode two, we talk about the thing that Charlie does with the tongue. I can do it. Lucky Charming? Oh. He does this thing with the tongue where he oh. holds Yeah. You can, I can't do that. I don't, I learned it in middle school. So I, I was laughing hard when that came about. That's a talent. I only got 60%. It says I got 10 out of 14 right. You know absolutely everything there is to know about your co-star. You got to know each other extremely well while you were filming together and it shows. This better not be the last time we see you together in front of the screen. How I Met Your Father premieres on January 18th on Hulu. And here it goes in gibberish. Ta-da! Let's hang out. Let's be okay. friends.